everybody. Thank you so much for submitting to the first annual Real Girls Film Festival. My name is Sophie Zavodsky and I'm the founder of the festival. I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody who submitted. Starting the festival, I only thought that I was going to get at most 50 submissions, but you guys surprised me. I ended up getting over 400 unique and exciting films from across the world. So a huge thank you. Real Girls is a space where aspiring female filmmakers like myself can submit their films to a supportive festival, um, find like-minded peers, and meet encouraging role models. This was important to me because as a filmmaker, I found that not many festivals um, celebrate the views of young female filmmakers, um, or at least not to this extent. And so I really wanted to a space of our own. My hopes as the festival grows is that you guys continue to reach out to each other, find your peers, and collaborate, and create that strong sense of community. I also hope that you guys continue to make films and share them with the world. Your visions need to be seen. And now, here's a message from our judge. The judge for the 9 through 14 narrative short film and animations categories is Naomi McDougall Jones, an award-winning filmmaker, actress, author, speaker, and woman in film activist. Taking home 12 awards, including four Best Pictures, and for Naomi, three Best Actress Awards and the Dawn Award for Independently Produced Screenplay 2014, Naomi produced, wrote, and starred in the indie feature film Imagine I'm Beautiful. The film was named as number eight of Oscar World's Top 10 Films of 2014 and was distributed theatrically and digitally by Candy Factory Films. After, she went on to make her second feature film, Bite Me which premiered at CineQuest and won Best Feature Film at VTX IFF and then journeyed across America on the Joyful Vampire Tour of America in summer 2019. Later, Naomi gave her thought-provoking TED Talk, viewed by millions around the world, what it's like to be a woman in Hollywood. Her talk advocated for bringing gender equality to film, both on and off the screen. Recently, Naomi published her first book, The Wrong Kind of Woman, Inside a Revolution to Dismantle the Gods of Hollywood debuting as the number one release on Amazon and in the entertainment industry, and then receiving an electric response for viewers from Booklist and Kirkus Reviews, calling it bold, convincing, passionate, well-written, urgent, and necessary. And Publishers Weekly writing, film viewing will never be the same after reading Jones's insightful look at the reality of being female in Tinseltown. Rose McGowan said the book, We need truth. The, cer the curtain must be pulled back, and Naomi McDougall Jones has done just that. It has been featured in The Atlantic, The Washington Post, NPR, BBC, Playboy, MS Magazine, Salon.com, among many other national and international media outlets. Please welcome Naomi McDougall-Jones. Hello, Real Girls. I'm Naomi McDougall-Jones, and it was such an honor to get to watch so many of your wonderful films and be a judge in this year's film festival for Real Girls Film Festival. And... I just want to say how excited I was to see so many of your stories and so much of your great work. And I just want to tell you to please, please keep making movies and telling your stories for the rest of your lives. I want you to think about something. If you've watched primarily uh, U.S. or North American movies in your lifetime, 95% of all of the films that you've ever seen were directed by men and overwhelmingly white men. 80 to 90 percent of all of the leading characters that you've ever seen in a movie were men and overwhelmingly white men and 55 percent of the time that you have seen a female character on screen she was naked or scantily clad so i'm telling you <laughs> that the world desperately desperately needs to see and hear your stories so if as you grow up, you become a filmmaker, which I hope you will, or you get involved in any way in the film and television industry, or you become a storyteller in a different medium. I hope you will remember this, me saying this for the rest of your lives, which is that we need your stories. And however you can get them made, whether it's inside of Hollywood or outside of Hollywood or just on your iPhone, um, it is your civic ethical and moral <laughs> responsibility to make sure that you tell the stories and get them to the audiences who so, so badly need to hear them. And thank you for sharing them with me first. Thank you for that inspiring message. Now we're going to begin our showcase. After the festival, please head over to our website and vote for Audience Choice Award. These will close um, tomorrow at 12. Also, um, please tune in to the award ceremony 
um, on May 29th where the Audience Choice Award and Best and Runner Up for each category will be announced. And also tune in to our other uh, showcases this week. happened to him? Police say he went to go walk his dog and never came home. That was over a week ago. Jeez. I wonder what happened to him. It was the notebook! Who are you? It was the notebook that took the boy you speak of. A notebook? Have you not heard the story of the notebook? Like the movie with Ryan Gosling? No. The book that feasts on the souls of innocent children. What? A long time ago, there was a boy. Every day, he would cut through the forest to get home from school. He would skip through the grass under the shade of the trees as happily as can be, until one day. The boy was on his usual route home when out of nowhere, a notebook dropped in front of him. He picked it up to give a closer look. Then he opened it. Once it gets hungry, it takes another. This time it took your friend Zach. If this thing actually were to be real, how would we find it? You don't find the notebook. The notebook finds you. I can't stop thinking about that notebook. Wait, you actually believe that kid? He was crazy. Well, you never really know. Still, it just sounds like another fake urban legend. What is it? That's the notebook. <laughs> Why don't you open it? Fine. See? Nothing happened. What happened to him? Hey, Viva! I'm so bored. Yeah, what should we do? Uh, it's the next day. We could go to the park. Yeah, I mean, there's no sun, but it's still a nice day. Okay, let's go! Want to walk to the park? Yeah, let's walk. Okay, I need some fresh air. It's right next to the park. Yeah. Let's 
get the door closed. Let's go. Did you know there's poison ivy in here? Don't let them know. Okay. Yeah. I've been, I've been two million times. The trees are covering the sunlight. Yeah, but that's a hole when you get to the park and when you're brighter. Yeah. I can't wait to go ahead. We're almost there. Look, there's the swings. I'm so excited. This my, the swings is my favorite thing in the park. Yeah, it goes so high and I know how to swing by myself. I love nature. Hey, look, what's that? I don't know. Dog. Oh my gosh, it's so come on, let's pick it up and I think it's really cute because the blue dress. Look at its hair. It looks like my hair. No my hair. No mommy. Both no. of our hair because we're sisters. Yeah.
the mall. I don't think we could take it to the mall. But we're going to the mall today. Do you want to? Yeah, it's going to be fun. Come on. Okay, let's take it to the mall. Bye, Mom and Dad.
what happened? I thought I locked the doors last night. Yeah, I saw you lock them. Maybe someone broke through the window? We should have all been there at the car crash. See you soon.
That's it. That's the one. Dude, what the H? I'm sorry, Micah. I'm just looking at the website again. Why can't you use your computer? It's not as fast as yours. Is it still available? Yeah. Look how awesome it is. The git. I have to get ready for work. I'm getting that guitar. 300 bucks? It's a steal. You're gonna have to steal to get that kind of money for this piece of wood with strings. You can insult me all day you want, bro. But please, don't insult Dolores. You named a guitar that you don't even own yet, Dolores. B.B. King named his guitar Lucille. B.B. King, you are not. 2,000 bucks? Give me that. How do you have 2,000 bucks in your savings account? It's called work. You made two Gs and taking off brisket. Get out! So, uh, Micah, my loving, caring brother, who I admire so much. Not in a million years, buddy. I'm just asking you to loan me the money. I'll pay you back every dime, with interest, I swear. If this music thing doesn't pan out for you, you'll at least have a future in comedy. Why is he such a fool? Insulting your proposed benefactor? That's a unique take. A bit risky, but I admire your wit. You owe me the money then. Out of my room. Micah. All right, look. I can call some of my old lawn mowing customers, see if they can throw you in some yard work. Yard work? Yes, yard work. It's money, Josh. Okay, I'll do it. All right, I'll make some calls. Get out. It's a lot of yard work. How'd you make out? I only made about a hundred. Ouch. Yeah. Well, you gave it your best shot, didn't you? Yeah. I'm still impressed. Thanks. All right, I'll cover the difference. For real? Hurry up and order it before I change my mind. You're the best. It's been sold. No, it hasn't. It's been sold, Micah. Oh. I'm... I'm so sorry, Josh. Just like that, it's been sold? Yeah. Well, look at it this way. You still got some money. That isn't a bad thing. Yeah. Hey, can you hang on my shirt for me? Micah. What? I was about to cover the difference for your guitar. The least you can do is hang on my shirt. Fine.
perfect. Three, two, one. Woo! Want new best friend. Number one, be a good friend. Number two, likes to play. Number three, easy to talk to. Number four, lots of hair. Number five, love streaks. Number six, energetic. Number seven, likes hugs. Number eight, likes walks. Number nine, likes naps. Number ten, loves me. It's perfect. Breakfast is served. Thanks, Mom. Thanks. I'm so late. I was supposed to meet a client in office at 9. If I book this deal, we can finally go on our vacation. You have to crush it then, Dad. I need a vacation. Oh my god. A vacation would be great. Good luck, Dad. All the best, honey. I'm sure you'll do great. Anya, not the plastic bottle. He doesn't recycle. Just fill up his bottle. Ah, uh, Mom, why? That's just more work. And plus, this is more convenient. Besides, what difference does it make if our family doesn't recycle? Mom, he's right, you know. If everybody thought that way, what would happen to Earth? <sighs> okay, so I don't have time for this now. I've got better things to do than recycling, so I'm off.
Wish me luck so I don't have to worry about plan B and I can knock it out of the park the first time. Good, Good luck, luck guys! guys. understand and the jellyfish and that you can eat in days after days plastic bag or other pieces of plastic is obviously the coincidence at the end can be lethal to the animals god Teresa I had no clue how dangerous plastic was for you guys I was right we should pitch in and do all we can to help the earth. Okay, go play. I brought your frisbee because I know it's your favorite. Thank She's you. She's not gonna play with me, Mom. Then she knows she gets crushed by the master. Oh, please. You've got it flipped. You're going to get crushed by me. Yeah, yeah. Enough chit chat. Let's see what you've got. Sure, sure. I'm gonna go grab it and then I'm gonna win this. Oh my gosh. Don't people know how harmful this plastic is? If they have to use it, the least they can do is recycle it. What took you so long? Well, I found some plastic on the ground. So? So I picked it up and threw it away first. Since when do you care about recycling? Weren't you the one complaining when mom told you not to give dad the plastic bottle? Hey, what's up guys? What are you arguing about this time? Plastic mom, believe it or not. <laughs> mom, you are right. We do need to help the earth. Great, just what I need. You're becoming like your mother now. Yeah, that's because all this plastic pollution is causing the sea turtles to die. Animals die all the time for different reasons. We can't save them all. It's become a trend for people to follow now. Stop it, Raj. It's not a trend. This is our life. This is our children's future. Secondly, don't criticize her. She's right. I'm not, I'm not criticizing her. All I'm saying is, it doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't make any sense to me either. Dad, if I may, you always say there's always a plan B, but there is no planet B. <laughs> that's right, that's my darling, you are so smart. You guys could learn something from her, you know? She's right. Oh, too much there is, huh? Let's see a game of would you rather. Wait, I'll go first. Would you rather eat a dead mouth or a dirty sock, Anya? Ooh. Ew! Ew! Yeah! Uh. Did you know there is an island of plastic? Not literally, but the second you row into the waters of this island, all you can see is plastic spreading miles out shore. Unfortunately, you can also see birds just floating around, their beaks filled with trash. There is no other sign of life out there. This island? This island is called the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. There are no more fishes, turtles, or any sign of life on this island. We all need to do our part in making small changes to fight this plastic pollution. Sure, we're all busy and have other priorities, but we can start by doing little things that make a difference. 
We can't all be like Greta Thunberg, who took a zero emissions boat to travel across the ocean. But we can surely do things at our level that are doable. Next time, when you go to any restaurant, don't ask for straws for your drink. Also, perhaps you can get yourself a reusable water bottle and use that so you don't have to reach for a plastic bottle when you're heading out. Please, don't let our Earth become like this island. We only have one planet and it is up to our generation to save it. It's time for us to join the others in our age group who are doing their part by pitching in. Remember, in life, there might be a plan B, but we don't have a planet B. Thank you so much. Those films were so amazing. Audience Choice Awards is now open on our website. Go over, so go over there and vote. Thank you so much. Those films were so amazing. Audience Choice Award is now open on our website for the category. So go over there and vote on your favorite film that you just saw. Um, be sure to tune in to our other screenings this week and um, to our awards ceremony on May 29th. Thank you.